Hello kings, queens, nerds, and geeks, Pound Milk here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Now guys, the, we uh, we closed it out so we can let this play, and my wife can nap for a little bit. And we opened it up and this came up, so apparently my wife says this will be lasting for about two days worth, so we're just be clicking this for a while. Oh yeah, my face box, yeah, so we can not miss anything. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the picture itself, it like slowly gets darker and it kind of slowly looks like the body is decaying. Yeah. Like her eyes get darker and more sunken in looking and the blood gets more dried up and old. Yeah. Unfortunately, all it is is just nothing but fucking... <gasps> okay. The blood is dried. You can see that it's rusting. Look at her eyes. They're yeah. starting to get yeah, it's getting gray. The blood over there is also getting blackish colored. Yeah, it's rusting too. It's oxidizing. Yeah. Like, this game is fucked. And you can see the knife holes. Although the knife wounds are very unrealistic the way they splatter like that. Actually, the blood does splatter out, just not like that. I know it splatters out, but it would more shoot out and be more downward, it not all out. It wouldn't sh actually, it would be depending on, depending on blood pressure. However, it wouldn't just shoot out the clothes like that. It would be mostly stopped by her clothes. The question is, if you chose yes, she would still stab herself, right? Yes, because I did the yes part, and she still killed herself. Why did she do it? I don't know, and it's the same thing with Sayori. Like, everything was fine. Yeah, everything was fine, because until Monica, basically, that's all. Everything was fine until Monica, and look at, as you keep going, her purple eyes start to turn, like, grayish. Well, they were already turning gray to begin with. Oh, but they're turning gray still, like, even more. Yeah, but that's, like, a, right that's now, the, that's the, the, the co cholera, co uh, cataracts uh, affecting. That happens when you're de uh, in death post mortem. Your eye drying up. That's what happens. It's not cataracts. It's your eye drying up. True, but you also get cat. But the body also gets cataracts. It's not cataracts. It's something else, Derek. It's the eyeballs drying up. They're shriveling up like raisins, and they lose color that way. Hmm. Um, I always know that post mortem, the eyes always gray out. That means after death. Post-mortem. Post-mortem. Okay. But you were kind of wrong about the blood splatters, but they were also kind of wrong about the blood splatters. I studied blood splatters! Are you a tech Dexter Morgan? No! <laughs> I'm like right I, now, I know, I know, I know. Right now, the eye looks completely gray. Well, the blood looks completely well, well, the blood is still, you know, the thing, and her eyes are gray. The eyes are sinking. Her um, her face is kind of, yeah, and shrinking. If you think about it, you can see, like, the, the tightening of the skin a little bit. And it's, like, slowly transitioning to that. Yes, and it's that been, clicked. if you think about it, if this is now 24 hours, that means the body is in rigor mortis state. Yeah. And then it enters. I like how we're talking about this. Then it enters, I believe, Alger Mortis, where it starts to become flexible again. Yeah. If you think, yeah, I like how we're talking about the science of a corpse. There's three mortises it goes into. Something mortis, and then Burger Mortis, which is the stiff one. That one I remember well. Mm -hmm. And then I believe Alger Mortis. Maybe Alger Mortis is the first one. You know, I noticed that dogs will go rigor mortis, the rigor mortis stage immediately as their death. It's not immediately. It is like a few minutes, but it depends on their body. Their body is smaller. Well. It takes about three to six hours, I believe, if I remember correctly. And it also depends on the temperature. Well, when my uh, dog uh, Max had died from a gunshot wound, 
he he bre he gave out his last few breaths and then he immediately went to rigor mortis state. Well, he's clearly already dying, and as you're dying, your body can start doing that as well. Well, that makes sense. It's not his body was already shutting down and dying there. He yeah. was still functioning a little bit. He had a little bit of life, but he was basically already dying. Wish I figured out how he would how to save him somehow. Same thing I want to go off. Like in a gun. <laughs> all fairness, I want to die in the most hilarious way. Like a tire hits me in the face. <laughs> this is a tire fly off a car and just. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I just want to die that way, or I want to die slipping in the shower after singing uh, uh, "It's Raining Men," you know. And that way, I'll be so pruned up they won't be able to tell if I'm a man or a beanbag chair. Well, you'd notice, but that was the joke. If you stop singing and I heard a crash, I'm pretty sure I'd probably oh, see yeah. what's wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know you would probably to see what's wrong, but I remember I came up with these ideas when I was single, so... You're not allowed to die. <laughs> well, anyway, back to the more, the more morbid shit. And we're just still clicking. Oh, it's so creepy and sad. See, when I got to this part, I just kept spamming the space button, because I don't have the mouse. Yeah, I just kept spamming that button until I got past everything. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay, you're almost to the edge of the Yeah, because this is where we kind of left off on the last one. And I believe part, partially in the morning, too. Oh, no, wait, you still have to finish this entire day. Yeah, which is all night. Which I already did the entire day, A for the this other one. This is a pain, by the way, but it's so sad. Yeah. I don't know why you stay there. In shock. But eventually you would wake up from that. Someone's gonna notice you. Oh, files. Oh yeah, the files. Not necessarily in, in uh... I had it re- I had it- You have to remember, this is like in Japan. They don't really have a. They don't really have stuff. They don't have like janitors, stuff like that. They usually make the students do it sometimes. They what don't a, have janitors. What about the parents? Well, we haven't met any parents in this game. Yeah, that's what's bugging me. Is that where are these kids' parents? These don't. We don't know. We don't know their past story in a way, except for like their first home. They can't all be like this. They could be. But the odds of that's very slim. <laughs> like, I understand like one or two, but all? We're already in the night phase, and... My only problem is you can only imagine how, how terrible the smell must be. Yeah. Like, that's the only thing I was thinking of when I got to this part. It was kind of disgusting. The thing is, how... People are gonna probably think that's taken the 
wrong way. Google. I knew that some farm dealt with animal death. Yeah. And I've smelt death before. It's not an okay smell. No matter what the animal is. Skunk is worse, though. Skunk has its like, own smell, though. I yeah. don't want to compare those two. I've never smelt now anything worse I than skunk. Can, now I can compare like the smell of meat to skunk. And both of them smell the same, and they both smell disgusting. Uh, I don't mind the smell of weed, but, like, I do see there's a similarity. Just one has a more pungent and, uh, musty smell than the other. I've, I've smelt decaying uh, animals, so. Yeah, I've smelled them like most of my life, but it's just. Ugh. It's too well. It is waiting for this to end. It reminds me when I had to shoot that. Smell. Welcome to lem 11 minutes of scrolling through a game. I like how we're just trying to talk. Oh, God. Her body is like sunk. You can feel her cheeks are sucking Look at it. Her arm is like twisted. Yeah. Like it's going through the whole decay portion where like like um you know the cartilage in between your bones and stuff that eventually decays too and like the bones do separate do separate so like her flesh and arm is just like starting to relax more and it's starting to like fall apart more yeah like she is truly looking like a corpse now that or a crackhead yeah and look at her cheeks are sunken in yeah i said that earlier yeah now you can see it more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here, uh, they won't see my mouse, so. Yeah. They can't see my mouse, so. Yeah, I turn I turned the mouse off in the game, for the for the recordings. Do I have to go through another day? No, you shouldn't. You're on Monday. Unless it you may have to go until like school starts, but go slow because someone's supposed to pop up soon to like snap you out of it. But the character could be like in shock. I don't understand the text though. I don't either. I don't think it's supposed to mean anything. Well. Usually these little square things pop up if they're unable to register what's supposed to be there. Like there's a text cut piece there that's that doesn't exist anymore. That usually happens. I noticed that if you look in fonts, there's a you try to type in a certain letter, it doesn't pop up. Wingdings usually has this cut factor. <laughs> But as you can tell, that there's different fonts and different letters that you have different letter combinations. Like, what would it even be saying? I don't know. Usually, to get any of these little text there with the little squiggly line, you have to type in a no, sequence no, no, no. of code. I'm like saying, if the character was talking right now, what would he be saying? Why? Why? I know he's in shock and everything. It could be the same process going over and over and over and over. That happens to some people in shock, they will repeat the same thing over and over. I know, but to me, I just don't understand how long shock can last. I mean, it could last for a really long time, but... Like, in a state where you're Yeah. Still, almost 15 minutes into this. Thought of something very morbid. What? Hey, 
that she was Yuri on ice, her body wanted her to get that ice. Oh my god, don't go. <laughs> do not bring that yaoi into this. It's not a yaoi. It practically is. No, it's not. It's borderline. No. It's borderline yaoi. And I swear. I'm just saying that she was Yuri on ice. I think I might have glitched because I saved, so I might be just doing this again. Doing this now. Yeah. I can't believe I made that joke. Hey, shit happens. I don't think they can. I don't know if they can even hear you in these things. I don't know, I already set up the videos, so I don't even know. <laughs> I do these unedited, you know, technically. Like, now I don't- you're just used to seeing her. Yeah. So we're we'll going into the daylight sequence. My space bar. Got the guy two keyboards. Okay. Slow down now. Yeah. Let's check out her decaying so far. Her. But that would make no sense if it like restarted. Yeah. Is, is anything changing in the text? No. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me. Ah! Ah! She vomited. Nuki Suni runs away. I'm here. How milk did something happen? Nuki Suni just passed me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait here. That's a shame! Fuck you! You did it! Shut up! I didn't no, do. Not you, her. I'm not talking to you. Why'd you tell me to shut up? Huh? You told me to shut up. I did. Fuck! My memory sucks, don't it? <laughs> Guys, did I say to shut up? Boy, I will do something on you. Oh, I remember now. I said shut up. No, I didn't. That's what I said. I thought you were saying I did that. No, I was talking to her. Sorry, I'm sorry. Misunderstanding. No, no, you're not. Yes, I'm sorry. Don't stick your tongue at me. Mmm. 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 Mm. 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 <laughs> hey, wait. Hey, wait. Where are you here this entire weekend, Powder Milk? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been a p pretty boring. I'll make you it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Remember, she said. She. Yeah. Hold on. <gasps> she deleted Monica too. Oh, Sorry, no, 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 Monica. Uh, she deleted Natsuki too. Oh God! Now you're getting to this part. Um, have a cupcake. Have a cupcake, real hey. quick. For this, a foil of his tray of cakes or cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really I just have to have one since it's the last time I ever get a okay. chance to. Huh? Pause. Go to the characters I told you to save. Try to put them in. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna put this in here. Okay, guys, I'm gonna bring this up Wait, here. No, go back into the thing. Hold on. Go back into the game. Hold on, I have to do this first. No, no, game first. Why? Why is that? Shoot, 
Okay, uh, hold on guys, I'm gonna put this to a side. Um... Yuri? Hold on. No, wait. Copy. Paste. There we go. Siori. Sorry, fuck. I keep doing that. Sorry. Copy. Paste. And. Copy. Paste. Now we got them all back in. Now we're gonna go put this over here. Oh, your computer was glitching. Yeah, it does that because it's the screen smaller. Okay. Stop existing. You know, before they stop existing and everything. Okay. Anyway, go back to where the other ones are. Yeah, they're right here. No, 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 no. The other part of the file. This. Yeah. You want me to go back in? Yeah. Just see what I'll have to do. Yeah, they're still there. But so I don't think that they're gonna be back in the game. I think she's preventing going back in the game. Now, I want to show you this. What? Bring it back over, pretend. Done. Okay. Bring it back over. Try and delete one of them. Uh... Yeah, I, I right-clicked her name. Delete. There you go, it's deleted. Now go back to the other part. Not quite to bring it out over there. Maybe you see it. Okay. Just bear with me, okay? You should really only take a second. I don't know. Hold on, look at that for a second. Oh! Wait, I think this is how you can beat Monica. Yeah, she's not popping okay, up. Go back. Hold on. No, 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 look at this, Derek. What are you doing? Hold on. Okay, what about it? Okay, oh, damn it! Okay, I have it here. Go back in the text. Yeah. Go back to the files. Yeah. Go back to the files. Yeah. Click on characters again. I think we just beat Monica. Go back to the characters. Oh. We just beat Monica. Yes. You, you, you sure you did? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Keep clicking, because now she knows. She's saying what's happening? happening. Powdered milk. What's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, powdered milk. Please hurry up and help me. Help me! Because I haven't gotten this ending before. I really wanted to show you this. She keeps trying... She's Did you trying... do this to me, powdered milk? She keeps trying to bring herself back in the game. Did you... Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? Were you... You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Powder Milk. I trusted you. Just want me to torture me? Watch me suffer? Where are you pretending to be e e kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can't. You can stop playing. Go find some people to torture. Powder milk. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. That's different from the other one that I got. Did I truly get a true and wait? No, it's not a trinity. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible I am to hate you so- Hate- To hate me this much. I am- All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I- I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world I don't even belong in. The world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I 
made up my mind. Powder milk. I know I said I was I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it myself to do it. Even though I knew you weren't they were they weren't real. They were still my friends. And I loved them all. I love them I love the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's only a way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... This game is not suitable for children for those who are easily disturbed. She deleted herself permanently! Do I go new game? Yes. Now, remember what I said. This she was pregnant. It's normally school day like any other. And she's not back in there so far. She... So... Recently we picked up a bit of a habit once again. Are you proud of me? Eh, for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you've never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Yeah, 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 I always thought it was, it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's a good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Siori. <laughs> I'm glad Siori's back, though, I'll be honest, though. We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly spectacle to the students, making their daily commute. By the way, Powder Milk, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really... I started to say what I always do, but I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But sometimes, something tells me Siori would tell... take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? And she started a club of her very own. So she started it. Actually, yeah. I'm actually decided a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. I was thinking about... I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. Siori's still cute. I'll be honest. She's adorable. You gotta admit, right? Siori's adorable. You meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. You're adorable. No, I'm not! Prove it. No! I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize in that way I envy her. When Siori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. I'm gonna try to do something with her, Siori this time. The school day is an ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. Shh. You tell me that, but I don't know yet. After I pack up my things, I stand up and gather my motivation. It's not normal. I do know. Let's see. I, I can't. I don't even notice I'm doing that. I recall the room number of, of the club up from the flyer I saw. I walked in the upstairs. There's the section I. I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year class and activities. Before long, I find a room. Timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Powdered milk! What are you doing here? Well, I just... When I glance around the room... Huh, girl too? So you're powdered milk that Siri always talked about. Thank you for stopping by. A pleasure to meet you, powdered milk. We're in the literature club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're gonna be really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quiet and shy compared to the others. Comparison, the na girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like an aggressive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I'm looking forward to working with you. W working? Powder Milk, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I decided to join was yours, Siori. The literature club. Suri's eyes light up. No way. No way. Okay, this seems a little too good to be true now. Yeah. Ah! Suri wraps her arms around me, jumps her up and down. Hey, hey, hey. 
Well, if Siori is happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we'll become an official recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. <laughs> what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? <laughs> After all, Natsuki decided to... No, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down on the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? Natsuki gave a few... Uh, get, <clears throat> the girls have a few desks arranged in a form of a table. Natsuki and Yuri walked over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs and wraps a tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a sweet a seat next to Siori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil of the tray, reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated with a little with a little like eh, decorated like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. <laughs> well, you know, just hurry up and take one. Siri grabs one first and then I follow. That's delicious. Um, Siri talks with her mouth full. Hold on, I want to see if there's anything new in the files. Uh, Aurora? You know all those pictures that were there? They're gone. Good thing, but I, I took copies of them, yeah, and that means she deleted them. Yeah. But you still have them. Yeah. <laughs> Siori talks with her mouth full as you, as already managed to get an icing out of her face. I turn the cupcake over my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice she sneaky can glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, well, of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. Natsuki struggles to accept my compliment. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea e set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down on the teapot next to the cupcake tray. To keep the whole tea e set in this class, you keep the whole tea set in this classroom. Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. Eh, yeah, I'm already trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> that's not... Insulted Yuri looked away. I meant that you know. I believe you. Well, tea and, re tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, powder milk. Uh, what kinds of things do you like to read? Hold on, I'm gonna go back to the character files. Still no Monica. You okay over there? What's wrong? The leg? Sorry, I mean, try to scoot over here so you don't see it if I do it. So, Potter Milk, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, I've considered it for a little bit for the past few years. I won't really have a good way of answering that. Manga! I mutter quietly to myself, half-jokingly. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. This is all basically random shit. Um, um, complex fantasy worlds with the craftsmanship. Oh, equally impressive. Impressive reading. Telling. Uh, hey, Yuri. Well, uh, you know, the first thing he said, manga. Oh, she's actually forward about this now. Because before she didn't say anything about manga. That's right. Uh, Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it. For some reason, Nakusi seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is a literature too, you know. And so if Paramount wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it is also a nice of us to, diversi to diversify ourselves a little. He can take his opportunity and try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Powder Milk? But maybe, sensing the tension, Yuri jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it would be fun. Have you help us get to know each other a little bit better, too. I mean, the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. 
You're usually, uh, you're right as usual, President. <laughs> I guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if, I, if, not only, if I'm not the only one. What you doing over there? Oh, okay. Then as for Yuri... Eh? I have to read ma- I have to read manga? Jeez! You're the one who suggested we diversify. You should uh, be a little more open-minded. It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. I'm sorry for, for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. What you doing over there? What's wrong? Hold on, guys. Anyway, okay, we're back, guys. If you're, uh, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of uh, literature. You're just saying that. No. Oh, shit. I, I realized my error. So, if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude in finding a manga to read as well. Really? Yeah, this is really way too good to be true, isn't it? I, I mean, that makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me and I'll find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll, I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just, just you? Uh, would you like to come with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always go along, so... Go yeah, me too. This is so cute! Siori, shut up. Did I seriously say that? I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I'll look forward to it. So, uh, Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess that's meeting's over, huh? So, yeah, look at the, look at it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes it, you too, Powder Milk. You think so? Well, everyone seems to be getting along a little better with you around, Siori. Aw, Powder Milk. Don't say things like that, that's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I was thinking about pulling it, it off just f you're pulling it off just fine. You're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you're, you've joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Powder Milk? I really want to thank you. I mean, I really ain't happy you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of my... You were right. Now remember, Monica was aware of the game, and she was kind of good. Keep playing now. Getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know. Oh, but I really know everything, Powder Milk. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make her make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make every everyone really sad but none of that matters anymore it's just us now and you made me the happiest girl in the whole world I can't at wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever don't turn into Monica for F O R E V Eh? What's happened? I won't let you hurt him. Who? This is Monica. Yeah. It hurts. This is the same thing that happened to Monica when we deleted her. I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no ha happiness here after all. Goodbye, Siori. Goodbye, Powder Milk. Goodbye, Literature Club. What the fuck? Uh, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hi, Remember, it's me. Um, I'm so hearing you message. know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff, and this not really any good at it yet, like at all. 
But I wrote you a song. And I was it's a piano. Hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So yeah. Audio download, DD. Hold on. Yeah, the music's playing. Every day, I imagine a future where I can be with you. Huh. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. Huh. You want to hear this? Just to find that special day. So I found a true ending. Have I found everybody a fun assignment to do today? When you're here, everything that we do is fun for them anyway. She's deleting everything. Would I be able to play this again after this? I had to save Monica, she's right here. That's, that's, that's suggestive. Yeah, I know. If you said, probably said, I love you. If I can hear the sound of your heart, what do you call love in your reality? In your reality, if I don't know how to. Special thanks, Monica Powdered Milk. That's what it just said. Yeah. I'll leave you be. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, and continue to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo the same hellish e epi epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all, all my dreams come true. For being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being part of the Literature Club. With everlasting love, Monica. Error. Script is missing for corrupt. Please reinstall the game. I just shut my game off, so hold on. Let me find my mouse. She's not in there. Hold on, I'm going to try to open the game again. I can try. Hold on. I, it's loading. So. It's just this. Okay, okay. Let's put copy. Paste. Okay, let's try opening it this time. Hopefully it'll work. We're about to find out. Mm -hmm. 
No. Dang it. Script, script file is missing. It says the script is missing. That means I had to reinstall it. You really can't see what you're doing there. Yeah, I'm trying to... Hold on, I'm going to have to pull this up. So, I'm trying to find things. Script. Huh. That's in there. Game. Script. Contents. They're there. Read me. I know. I'm trying to figure out something here. Uh, how about this? Okay, uh, hold on guys. I'm going to pause the recording and we're going to be right back. Okay, so I had deleted the game and restarted it. I re reinstalled it. So uh, here's the question. A previous save file has been found. Would you like to delete your save data and start over? I'd say start over because the last place you saved was Yuri's death. Yeah. So, so you... I delete the data. Yes, delete my existing data. Yeah. The game is not suitable for children, those who are really disturbed. Wait, is that different? Yeah, that's different. And if you're suffering from anxiety or depression and may not ha have a safe experience for warning comes, please contact blah 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 blah. Yes, I agree. Why is it different? I don't know. It's probably because I restarted the game. It's kind of like, you know, Undertale. Each playthrough was different. Like, if you kill everyone in Undertale, you act- it, there, there's a change. So, if you kill everyone in Undertale and sell your soul to bring it back, in the next time you play a peaceful play run, the, there's something- a dark ending in the ending of it. Like, there's something dark about it. So... Oh, put powder. Just powder. Good idea. Ready? Yeah. And you deleted the game. Yeah. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms. I'm probably gonna do Siori. Why? How am I gonna do the Monica one? How can I do a Monica one? I don't even know how to do it, how they did it. I think how they did it was just choose, you know, the different options. You know how, you know, Monica was coming up there? Maybe that's how they did it? Well, I do know there's, like, four, but I found one that has, like, certain words that went up there, because I don't know what the heck. Hmm. I overslept again. I'm just gonna skip through all this. Uh, pause. Yeah. I'll pause when I find something new. Okay, I had the idea from what my wife had told me to delete Monica. So, hold on, let me find the file. Because the file had deleted itself. Yeah, so, now that we've done that, we're gonna do this. So, there's already one here. Oh, yeah, okay, uh... Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, um, we're gonna delete it. Since I already have Monica right there, we're gonna delete her, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Yeah, yeah join the closet. Uh, hold on, guys, we'll be right back. Okay, we're here near the literature club. We're about to see if it happens. We're gonna see what happens. Yeah. I told you I don't want to remember. I glance around the room. Yeah, I see. I told you. But she's she's deleted. No, go back in this file. Go back. 
You know I can just re hit the refresh button. She's still not there. Welcome to the club. Oh, where's escape me from this situation? Uh, uh, this is all the same stuff. Uh, maybe there's something wrong here. Hold on, let's go back to the menu. We're gonna try this. Again. I know that, but it's already deleted now. So I'm gonna uh, go back, refresh. Yeah, so. Yeah, I'm recording. What? This? What is this? Oh no. No. This can't be. This can't be where all oh, there is. What is this? What am I? Make it stop. Please make it stop. I told you. It fucking reset my game off. <laughs> I told you it does that. I deleted all the character files. Yeah, and then you need to put all the characters back in. And it'll go back. Yeah, hold on. I need to grab them all. Here, show, you, can, you should bring this over to show them. Yeah, hold on. Guys, I'll show you in a sec. Where's all my character files? Anyway. They're on there. Yeah, I see Natsuki, Monica. Where's the others? So you're already on top. Where? Top row. I don't see it. I thought she was. I copied and pasted them. Unless they're in here somewhere. Oh! They moved over here. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Never mind, that's not it. No? No. The game fucked with me. I think I have to reinstall it again. No! Unless... Why did you do that? Hold on. Hold on. Let's try this. See what happens. Guys. Says end. Have you ever tried this? Uh, uh, yeah, but it didn't do that. Remember, I just told you to do it, but I never got that part with Sayori. Sorry. I'm... How long does this last? Do I click anything? I don't know. Do you start the game? I never got Sayori to pop up there. Man, all this shit we're finding, though. Hold on. Let me see. No. Oh, I actually have to refresh. Hold on. No, there's nothing there. Everything's gone. I might have to restart the game again because I don't have the save files anymore. So. It might be. Hold on. Where's my trash bin? I just had it early. Oh. Hmm. Wait, they're right here. How'd they get there right now? Okay, they just popped up there. That's not right. They just popped up there. That's not right. Hold on. I don't think they're back in there. Hold on. Putting them back. No, go in the folder. You had to open that. You know you can just drag and drop in, right? Move to characters. It would work the same way. Yeah, I'm aware. And go. To copy again. Okay, they weren't lost. You didn't have to do that again. Okay. But uh, they just popped out of the trash can like they were hidden behind it or something. Yeah. Not like in the trash can, but like behind the trash can in a way. Yeah. Which shouldn't even be possible with a computer. Yeah, so Yuri, Yuri, Monica. One missing. Why did you put them all back in? No, no, I put them all. I copied them here, but one of them was missing from the list. Hold on, it's. Natsuki that's missing. I need to find it. So... Yeah, I might have uh, fucked it up somehow. Hold on, let me uh, clip it. Copy. Paste. Yes, replace this. There we go. Yeah, so. Yeah, so we're gonna click out of it. Let me. Yeah, it's quick doki doki. It's interesting what you can do with this game. Yeah, it is. No, it's restarted again. Yeah. Wait, let's link back up again. Oh, sorry.
Sorry, sorry, sorry. So everything's back to normal. Is there anything else I should try to do? Well, I think that's how I should end the episode, don't you think? Yeah. Alright. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this awesome episode, or I think the final episode. No. No? no. Different routes? Yeah. Well, I can't play them all. Well, anyway, well, how about this? We'll find secrets and try to get to those secrets. How about that? Well, anyway, guys, until we come up with a, a secret, it's finding episode, this will be it for now. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this awesome episode of Doki Doki Literature Club, and I'll catch you guys later, and stay dirty, my friends. Bye!